Hello gamers, here's a way to solo stockades as a mage in Season of Discovery. You can easily farm gold, boost other players, and this is also likely the fastest way to level next phase, with this farm giving upwards of 200,000 experience per hour if you're solo. Quick disclaimer, this is a very difficult boost to perform. The movement to utilize the fence kite is very precise, and you can mess up very easily. You will have to practice this for hours before you start seeing results. However, this is by far the best way to make gold and experience in Season of Discovery, so it's well worth practicing. So getting into the setup, for runes, we're doing the usual regeneration, living flame, and living bomb. I know mages are used to just face tanking everything with regeneration and living flame. However, this boost is difficult, so we are going back to our roots and using improved blizzard as well. Here are my talents I am running. Pretty self-explanatory, however, you do not want frostbite because randomly freezing a target in your blizzard will cause it to unclump from the rest of the group and you'll find yourself having a hard time controlling the mobs. Here's my gear. This farm can be done with basically any gear because at the end of the day it comes down to you being able to control the fence kite effectively. However, obviously the better gear you have the easier it'll be. As far as consumes, buffs from other players like freeze fortitude, bandages, and stamina food are more than enough. It is helpful to have mana potions on hand however just in case you mess up a pull and need some more mana. If you are an engineer, dynamite will help your clear speed, and target dummies can be used to help you stack groups easier. Once you've done some practice attempts, I also recommend picking up the Black Fathom Deep's world buff when doing this farm, as the extra damage and move speed makes it a lot easier. However, you will die a lot at the very beginning, so do not get this buff until you're comfortable. So, getting into the farm itself, basically this farm revolves around hopping on these little ledges at the beginning of the dungeon to start a fence kite and whittle down the mob's health slowly. No matter how far in the dungeon you are, you will run back with the mobs to this area every time. When the mobs are just about to reach you, hop off your ledge and run to the other side. In principle, it's a very simple boost, however, the hard part is maintaining the monster stack while also managing your mana for the runaway phase, which we'll cover later. You must keep the monsters stacked so you can get the most damage out of Living Flame and your Blizzard without having stragglers hit you when you're switching sides. For starting the pulls, you will often need to sheep the closest to Fias to get closer to the doorways. I personally like using Blizzard to give the monsters a slow when I pull them and gives me more time to aggro the other rooms. However, you can pull with Living Bomb as well if you're fast on your feet. However, I was often being stabbed in the back when I tried this. Make sure you put a Living Bomb on the sheep to Fias on your way out. That way he's not breaking sheep much later and surprising you. Throw out Living Bombs as you run back to the entrance and start the fence kite. Once you're in a good position, send out your Living Flame on the very back a monster. That way when you switch sides, he will drag the living flame through the entire group. Once you're ready, switch sides and start channeling blizzard. This will ensure the monsters slow down and take extra damage from living flame, and you have more time to regenerate mana. Once your living flame has ended, the monster should be around 30% HP, and you should be low on mana. Just use your wand for now and keep hiding back and forth, and wait for your mana to regenerate. Use frost nova if monsters get too close to you, however, try to avoid this where possible as you need your mana. Don't be afraid to let monsters just sit in Nova either. It's a good way to buy time. You can bandage during the downtime as well. Just keep in mind you are not in a hurry. There's no enrage timer, there's no rush. It's totally fine to wait for Living Flame to come back off cooldown and wait for more mana. You lose more time dying than waiting for Living Flame if you absolutely need it. When the mobs reach low health, they will start running for help. This is the hardest part of the pull. They will start running everywhere and surround you, and some even run behind you and go out the instance portal. The ones that leave in this way will ignore the fence kite and come kill you in a few moments. So it's very important you save up mana and can burst the mobs down all at once. The amount of mana you need will depend on your gear. I felt safest getting around 40% mana and then dumping living bombs and arcane explosions on the mobs to burst them down. If you mess up this part and push some mobs early, it's safer to reset and try again. It is nearly impossible to salvage this if monsters run away early. So that is the gist of how to do the boost. For brevity, I am not showing the entire run as it is literally the same thing just over and over. If you don't have the BFD world buff, however, you may need to use Blizzard to kite the mobs to the entrance. Once you're pretty deep, in the dungeon. And as a side note, do not pull the rooms with the bosses at the end of each hallway, as these bosses are higher level and may resist your spells, which is a big headache. You can clear everything else safely. As far as how we're making money, you can sell these boosts to other players, and I was charging around 3 gold a run. With 4 party members, that is 12 gold a clear. You can do 5 clears an hour for a total of 60 gold, and then any cloth and green items 
I found along the way. Typically made another 10 to 20 gold, giving you a whopping 70 gold or more per hour. If you do have boosters, have them set at the start of the dungeon and do not help. If they pull aggro, it can mess up your entire pull. However, help with runners is appreciated. And I hope you guys can make some nice gold in phase one of Season of Discovery. Until next time gamers, doodles!